Ulcerative colitis Etiology, pathophysiology, and pathology The etiology is unknown, but there is a presumed autoimmune process with a measurable genetic component, genetic linkages and family studies. Enteric bacterial factors seem to be important. There is a decreased incidence in cigarette smokers. The histopathological features are of mucosal inflammation only, contrasting with Crohn's disease, with crypt distortion, crypt abscesses, and goblet cell depletion, FIG. 50. Rectal inflammation is almost universal, but the extent of more proximal disease is variable. Disease is continuous, i.e. extends from anus to wherever the proximal extent lies, and does not cause fistulae or strictures, but may rarely result in fibrotic narrowing of colon. Epidemiology Incidence 10 to 20 per 100,000 Affects any age group, but most typically youths and young adults. Clinical presentation Bloody diarrhea and general malaise are common. Arthritis and arthralgia, uveitis, skin rashes, abdominal pain, and tenesmus are less common. Toxic megacolon is rare. Physical signs. Common. There may be few physical signs, but the patient may be thin and unwell with aphthous ulceration, abdominal tenderness, blood on rectal examination, and mucopus on rigid sigmoidoscopy. Uncommon. Toxic megacolon, arthritis, iritis, and skin rashes, erythema nodosum, pyoderma gangrenosum. Investigations and staging. Serum inflammatory markers are markedly raised in severe disease but may be normal in proctitis or mild disease. Stool culture and microscopy are required to exclude infectious diarrhea, including Clostridium difficile. Plain abdominal radiograph may show proximal fecal loading. Mucosal edema and ulcers may be detected, and in severe disease there can be colonic dilatation, toxic megacolon. Barium enema This may confirm findings on the plain abdominal radiograph but its use is limited and should be avoided in severe disease due to the risk of perforation, FIG 51. Colonoscopy The investigation of choice in ulcerative colitis, may show inflammation extending from the rectum to the proximal extent of disease, FIG 52. In severe disease this should be limited to flexible sigmoidoscopy due to the increased risk of perforation. Differential diagnosis. Common differential diagnoses include Crohn's colitis, infectious colitis, bacterial, amoebic, viral, e.g. cytomegalovirus in immunosuppressed patients, NSAID-induced colitis, and microscopic colitis. Treatment. Emergency. Patients who are very ill will require emergency admission to hospital for resuscitation followed by treatment. Short term. In mild to moderate disease, high dose 5 aminosalicylic acid compounds, 4G slash day, may induce remission. The addition of topical preparations can result in more rapid resolution of rectal bleeding and are the first line treatment of choice in proctitis and colitis not extending beyond the splenic flexure. In more severe disease, or where 5 aminosalicylic acid compounds are ineffective, Steroids may be used, e.g. prednisolone 30 to 40 mg slash day, reduced by 5 mg every 1 to 2 weeks. Intravenous cyclosporin may have a role to play in severe colitis, but this remains controversial due to potential side effects and high long-term failure rates. Long-term 5-aminosalicylic acid compounds can maintain remission in most patients. In patients who have frequent relapses or become steroid-dependent, immunosuppression with azathioprine, target dose 2 to 2.5 mg-kg, is recommended. 
Panproctocolectomy is curative. Patients may opt for a permanent ileostomy or formation of a neorectum using a loop of ileum, pouch. Complications Common complications include malnutrition, steroid-induced side effects, arthralgias, arthritis, skin rash. Less common are uveitis, toxic megacolon, and perforation or sepsis. Malignancy, colorectal carcinoma, is rare. NB. Because of the increased risk of colorectal cancer, it is now recommended that all patients with ulcerative colitis undergo surveillance colonoscopy every 3 years after 10 years, every 2 years after 20 years, and yearly from 30 years. However, the use of regular 5-aminosalicylic acid compounds may reduce the risk to near that of the normal population. Prognosis Morbidity About 25% of patients experience only one attack, 40% are in. Remission in any one year, and a minority have unremitting disease. About 30% of patients ultimately undergo colectomy. The longer a patient remains in remission, the better the chance of remaining in remission. Mortality Overall mortality is not increased compared with healthy controls, possibly due to a lower incidence of smoking. Prevention Secondary prevention is with 5-aminosalicylic acid compounds and azathioprine. Disease associations Primary sclerosing cholangitis, 